The Tisha talks about the facts. I'm not sure because the Tisha responded last week that you watched the video of me questioning some of the bankers. Maybe you can confirm that you watched the video of these bank enforcers and how they behaved in relation to this family. And as I said, no family, regardless of their circumstances, and it's not the revenue that are evicting them, regardless of their circumstances, should be treated in this way. This idea that banks and forces, these thugs, and I call them thugs, can, can enter into somebody's property, can cut down locks, can break down doors, can take somebody out by their ears, can kick somebody on the ground and push them out of their own home and property while the guards watch on is not acceptable. And we have raised this with you countless times. And it is not just bank enforcers that are unregulated. We have rent receivers that is unregulated. But why are they doing this? And why is the public so outraged? And I commend the public for standing up in solidarity with the family and people who are facing eviction and standing against the type of thuggish behaviour that we've seen last Tuesday. Why are they doing this? Because your government has completely abandoned these communities. You have rolled out the red carpet for the vulture funds. You are allowing thousands of sales of restructured performing mortgages to take place to the vultures outside of the code of conduct of the central bank. And you have allowed time and time again the banks to write roadshop over ordinary people. So, Tisha, will you, because you said if, if it may is required, will you ensure that this is the last time that unauthorised, unregulated bank henchmen will be entering property and behaving in the type of despicable way that we've seen in Roscommon last Tuesday? Tisha, one minute. Deputy, I agree with you that we need proper regulation in this area. The Minister for Justice acknowledged that yesterday. Uh, he's established an interdepartmental group to examine it with the view to them reporting to him in January in only a few weeks' time. So I agree with you uh, that we need regulation in this area. I agree with you that nobody wants to see people evicted ever from their homes, particularly at Christmas time. Uh, where evictions occur, uh, they should only ever happen in rare cases after the court has heard both sides of the story and has issued a repossession order first and an eviction order thereafter. And that, I understand, happened in this case. But I'm very concerned, Deputy, that you've had nothing, you've had nothing to say about what happened afterwards. 20 or 30 people arriving in a cattle truck, armed with baseball bats, who then injured three or four other people, set cars alight, uh, and caused an animal to be shot dead. I find it very concerning that you have nothing to say about that. That you've made two contributions now, and you've not con and you've not condemned, you've not condemned, you've not condemned, you've not condemned. Please, please show that interruption. Deputy Deputy Darty, please. Deputy Darty. Deputy Darty, restrain yourself. Deputy Darty. Deputy. Deputy. Deputy Darty, please. Deputy Darty. Deputy. Two of us won't be standing at the one time. Deputy. De De Tisha. 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 You might like the answer, Deputy. but. Deputy, is Deputy is I condemn violence and thuggish behaviour by anyone under any circumstances, so let there be no doubt about this. But in two contributions, in fact, in three contributions now, uh, you, you, uh, you have dismissed the fact that tax evasion is a serious offence. You have criticised the Guardi. You have criticised the High Court for making this order, having heard the Tisha, cases. Got uh, and you have said nothing about the thugs uh, who, who, who climbed on the back of a Tisha, cattle truck, 20 time. of them, broke into property, injured three people, killed a, killed a, uh, uh, killed a dog. Deputy and I am moving on immediately to Br Deputy Brendan Howland. Deputy Brendan... Deputy Doherty... Deputy... If this continues, if this Deputy, continues Deputy, I will have no to, choice. When it comes to Sinn Féin and the rule Tisha, of law, Tisha, and public order, Deputy and Brendan condemning Brendan. violence, it doesn't take very long for your balaclava to slip. Tisha, Deputy, Deputy, Deputy Brendan Howland. Deputy, Bre Deputy Doherty. Deputy Doherty. Deputy Doherty. Deputy Doherty. If the intention is Deputy Doherty, Deputy Doherty, I will have to exercise if necessary. Deputy Brendan Howland, three minutes. One to the mic.
Why was there a mic? I would suggest that you both. I would suggest that you both read the blacks when they're available, and maybe we could revisit it. Hold on, Tisha. No, no. You can both read the. Read the blacks, both of you, and if we have to revisit it, we will. Deputy Brendan Howland. Deputy Brendan Howland.